Alrighty guys, welcome back for our fam. Hope you guys are all having a great and amazing day today. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing our new camera. I don't want to cover Lindsay's face, but we're going to be uh, unboxing the DJI Pocket 2 and we're going to be kind of doing some videos on it so you guys can see it. Um, and the reason why we wanted to get this camera is because we have a whole bunch of vacations coming up and this is something that we can slip in our pocket and get 4K videos, 1080p, time lapse, and it seems very, very convenient, especially you know comparing it to the GoPro. We both thought it had better video quality, um, and we don't want to carry a big you know DSLR camera you know on an airplane or in Disney or a place like that. We want something that is the size of a Snickers bar that we can kind of video. So we're gonna open this bad boy up and kind of see what's in it. I'm excited. I know me too. We have our trusty old little pocket knife You've here. You've had that forever. I know. A after I'll show you all the cameras we have, we're starting to have a decent collection here. We recently found um, our second GoPro. Well, it was originally our first GoPro. Yeah, we, we now have two GoPros. So when we went to Jamaica, <laughs> we I lost the GoPro, uh, I think eight, the GoPro eight I've had for years. And I, I wanted to film on vacation, so we went out that day, we lost it, and we bought the GoPro 10, which is way better in my mm -hmm. opinion, because it has that little screen up in the front where you can kind of see yourself. It's like a flip uh, flip up camera, like the camera we're using. But, um, so let's open this bad boy up and kind of see, I don't want to cover your face. It's okay. No, it's okay. All right, so it looks like we have, on this side, we have like, uh, like cables and stuff like that. I don't know if that hops out. So comes out like this, we have directions. It looks like we have to download the DJI app um, to for some software or something. It's probably like the GoPro. For those of you that have the GoPro, you can you know download you know your footage on it and it's super cool. So I'll that give that to so you. That is so small. Like this is a comparison with my hand. Yeah. And and those are the cables, and then this is oh. the this is the camera. This is the camera. Okay, well it's like about the same. They're about the same size. Okay, do a same. comparison with my hand now. Oh my god, look at this. So this is it looks like there's like a little case. Yeah, it is a case. Yes. And <laughs> and the reason we Whoa, I don't even know how this pops out. The they online it said there was a little oh there. So it's like literally the same it's size like, as this box. It is. It's it's super small, which is crazy. I don't. I think we might have to uh, turn it on here. It looks like in the back of this case, there's like um, places where you can get like a wide angle lens for some storage and stuff. That's what it says, which is cool. So we're gonna throw this on the charger and get this thing turned on. And I think we might have to download the DJI app. So once we do that. We'll come back and keep you guys um, kind of informed on what we're doing. So the app's actually loading <laughs> up right now, and Lindsay and I are starting to just like mess around with it. It looks like there's like like a whole like there's this. I don't even know what this That's is. That's the thing that goes over top of the lens. Oh no! This is to mount to a um, like a tripod. It has like a little tripod stand. Oh. Okay, so that's what that is. This. Oh, this is how we can control the gimbal. So it's like a three axis uh, gimbal that you know gives stability for the camera. And this right here gives like control, I guess, of that. So it's stable and you can like turn the camera when you do it. All right, so the next thing out of this fancy box is, uh, okay, this is a camera holder so we don't drop it. Camera which, holder, camera strap. Camera strap, so we don't drop it. Oh, this is a charger. Very important. Our camera co collection is getting big. We're, We're getting the shelf. There. I know. Oh, so this right here is an iPhone adapter. If you look very, very close, it's an iPhone adapter. It wasn't in focus. It's an iPhone adapter. I don't know. <laughs> well, so this, uh, the reason why we have this, instead of like using like Bluetooth or something like that with like the GoPro, um, with the DJI, you can actually just plug the, your phone in and you can transfer files to your phone which is cool That's on top nice. of that instead of using um, the super small screen that this has let me see. Oh, yeah. instead of using like the super small screen that it has you can plug your phone in and they make special mounts to hold your phone 
off to the side so you have like a bigger screen like the G7X or like a DSLR. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. So I'll give that. Oh, well, snap. Well, that's probably lost. No. And then the last and final thing out of this fancy box, I don't even know if my finger can reach it, is, oh, it, this is a USB-C for USB-C, which is actually awesome because our MacBook Air only has USB-C. So what we can do oh. instead of hooking up, you know, um, you know, to Bluetooth or whatever, we can just plug this into the camera and then plug that straight into the MacBook, transfer everything and edit, which is sweet. Oh, okay, so we have to actually plug in the camera. Do you get what I'm saying? So now, since we have an iPhone, we're gonna, I think we're just gonna slide. Why don't you show that? I think we're just gonna slide. I just don't know if I'm doing it right. Oh, there. Okay. Um. Thought we broke it for a second. He's playing it into the bottom of his phone. He's not very, you're not really showing it. No, it's not reaching. Oh, you might have to take off your case. Okay, so we plugged it in. Uh, uh, we had it plugged in. I don't know what just happened. Okay, then we're gonna click agree. I'm just gonna do this stuff real quick. Please keep connecting. It's just like basic, like, you know. Yes and no questions. Yeah. Please activate after login. Oh my gosh, I don't even have an account. Gotta make an account. <laughs> yeah, Lindsay's gonna be the narrator because I'm like too stressed out. It's like hard. Surprisingly, I feel like if you let go, it's it won't gonna stay. Yeah. Which is weird. And I'm nervous to let go. The one. Okay, so it looks like you can have like a care um, like a care plan. I I don't know how much these cost. Because with the GoPro, the reason I love the GoPro is because you can beat it to absolute crap. And if something breaks for like $4 a month, you get unlimited um, like saving of videos. And uh, if the GoPro breaks, you just send it to GoPro and they replace it or fix it. Um, so this is probably something similar to that, but we're gonna skip it. I'm sure we always can. Um, Go back. Yeah, get it again. So. So I I'm, I'm think maybe we're good. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of accessories. I know this, if you're somebody that loses small pieces, I don't know if this is the right move for, for you guys. <laughs> and, we, and we're and we somebody that loses a lot of stuff. All right, let me say that again. We're gonna power this thing on. I don't know how it works. I don't know what buttons which, boom. Oh my gosh, hello. Okay, Hello. quick user guide on how to start doing it. We're gonna skip that. I feel like <laughs> I feel like we are Mistake. we're advanced uh, when it comes to this stuff. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna figure out how to get the SD card in here, and then we're gonna actually move to the new camera. All right, so we are on the new Pocket Two camera. I don't know how good the audio is. I don't know how good the quality it's is. It's supposed to have, I think, three speakers. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And we've been kind of messing around with it a little bit, um, but I don't know exactly what this gimbal does. What's cool is it, it should kind of like you have move. To, you have to put it on the mode. Oh, all right. Follow. So this is the follow mode. I don't know. I don't, I don't know I how to like follow. You have to... We don't know what, <laughs> no, it's not. But anyways, this is just the quality. Um, maybe we'll take it outside and see how that lighting is. Cause right now, obviously we have more like studio lights. So we'll move outside, see how good the quality is out there. And maybe we'll try to figure out these settings. All right, so we are now outside with a little more audio, a little more realistic um, cars driving lighting. By. Yeah, we have cars. Um, but overall, I, I'm just looking at it on this little screen, and it seems pretty decent for a camera that's only like 350. I'm very impressed as of right now. But that's just going without saying. It's um, I'm just looking at you know a tiny screen. And I know. I, I will say that it is very hard to see, like how we look. <laughs> yeah. But I think this is going to be like an absolute game changer. Yeah. On like an airplane or even going well, just out in public in general because yeah because even when you have like a big not even like a big maybe like a point-and-shoot camera that's small um 
it's it's almost like people look at you and they're like mm -hmm. weird this is the size of like a like a snickers bar and 95 percent of it's getting held in your hand so you just see a little like the little gimbal up on top but and it's like you put it in the case and it's easy to travel mm -hmm. with yeah you don't have like a whole bunch you like this big camera that you're yeah. traveling with but we'll try to do maybe some like cinematic shots or something <laughs> so we can so you guys can see it All right, Lindsay wants me to run with this thing so freaking bad. I don't get it, but because it will show the motion. But I guess here, here we, here's a light trot. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. I can't tell how good the stability is or what. Almost. <laughs> but there we go. Nice little trot. Alrighty, guys. So we are now back in the office. Um, so overall, I think that this is a great camera for people that are just starting out, kind of like our channel. We don't have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and this is under 500 bucks, so you can't go wrong with it. Not to mention it's small, it's compact, so this is gonna be a vacation go-to camera where we can slip it in our pocket, but the issue with it is it's not waterproof, so if we're going on like a water ride or going to the beach, we're not gonna take this. We're most likely gonna grab the GoPro, something that can be a little more rough and we don't have to worry about it breaking. Not to mention in like an airplane or filming at like a store doing like a Costco haul, I think that this is gonna be our go-to camera. But for like a sit down video, I definitely think like a G7X, the camera that I'm using right, right now, is gonna have better video, it's gonna have better audio. But this is a seven, $800 camera, where this is $350. So you can't go wrong with it. I think that this camera would probably be my favorite, just because of the convenience of it, the size of it. Like if you have, let me grab, like the, this one's dusty, because we just found this one. But like the GoPro, like even if you have it on like, um, like a tripod, a, mm -hmm. like how we normally keep it. I don't know if you have it in here. No, I we don't. normally keep it on a um, like a foam yeah. holder, so because it's or like, even float. something like that. Yeah, it's still like bulky. Also, I don't know. I just I don't know. I feel like that will be a lot easier to film with than the GoPro, even though this is technically smaller. <laughs> Our dog's in here, but yeah, I do too. I think that this is gonna be a vacation go-to. It's gonna be a great camera. <laughs> There's our baby. But it's gonna be a great camera for people starting out like ourselves. And if you guys wanna sign up, we do have a link in the bio where we do get a little bit of some money from it. But overall, if I was gonna rate this out of 10, I probably would give it like right at an eight and a half. I think that the audio and the video, I'm sure could be better. Um, but eight and a half out of 10, still very, very good, especially for that price. So that is it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.